Hey guys, your boy, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Shit's Creek Season 1, Episode 10, Honeymoon. So without further ado, let's get it started. This was a good choice. Yep. You make good choices. Mm -hmm. This was a really healthy choice. Well, I'm going to go to work now. Okay. Which is where I should have been 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Stevie? Oh, Stevie! What? No, it's you. Is anyone in there? What? No. Are you in danger? Blank. If you're in danger. <laughs> Stevie. That's really not necessary. Okay, well, I'm going back to my room now. No, Mr. Rose, please don't call the police. Dad, please just take the towels and go. <laughs> oh. Well, I, uh, I've got everything I need. Good seeing you both. party at his place tonight so i would say be there around like seven that's presumptuous what if i have plans it's so cute bring stevie no i'm not bringing stevie it's not a good time well, okay the dust but ted's already getting in groceries and i may I already invite her so it's gonna be fun david it's gonna be so much fun children children your father and I have something to discuss. I'm really busy right now, though. Okay, we understand you have found some local friends with whom to spend time oh with. Oh, my God. Okay, I can't deal with this right now. And that's okay. fine. But we do have to be careful with our hearts. Yeah. That's fine. It's just, it's just that you're so involved in our lives right now, and that was fine when we were child actors for a little bit, but now David and I are grown-up adults, and we're just feeling very, like, um... Suffocated. 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 Wait! Suffocated. Stop! Stop! We came in here to speak about you two. What could you possibly have to say now? Well, now I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Thanks. You know, the more I think about it, the more I wonder whether David's whole sexually adventurous thing was... Wouldn't it be fun to have the mayor and his wife over for cocktails and charades? Tonight! Yes, oh, tonight! Yeah, tonight. no, unfortunately, that's not going to work for us. We're having a huge party tonight at our place. A ton of people coming to our house. Oh, Woo. yeah, big. But we're free any other night other than tonight. Um, so, um, so the other, so last night, um, mm -hmm. wow, sounds like, um, uh, quite the evening. So whose pig do we have to slaughter to get an invite? Oh, my goodness. Well, um, we just didn't think that you and Johnny would want to come, so. Well, that's a touch presumptuous, Jocelyn. Why would we not want to be involved in a themed party in your yard. Right. Well, I mean, for one thing, you know, the two of you are a little, uh, little what? Hoity-toity. -toity. All right, I said it. We didn't think that you'd want to hang out with regular people. And up until last night, I was under the impression that you too only drank red wine. But I guess I was wrong. I see where you're going with this. Um, I do drink red wine, but I also drink white wine. I don't wine. know what that means, if you like. Oh. And I've been known to sample the occasional rosé. And a couple summers back, I tried a Merlot that used to be a Chardonnay, oh. which got a bit complicated. Okay, yeah, so you're just really open to all wines. I like the wine and not the label. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Um, this is just very new to me, so. As long as you didn't roll over and cry. Did you promise to keep it? Uh, no, I don't think we would. What is it? Shh, 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 Johnny. 
<laughs> now listen, I'm the guy in charge of upholding the law around here, so if you have any ideas about turning me in, you'd just be turning me into myself. <laughs> Up, Raleigh, up. Listen, I don't know if you guys want to partake in this because I'm sure your fancy dinner parties didn't have illegal substances. <laughs> illegal substances. <laughs> Amateurs. We had friends in the FDA, but... When in Rome... Well, damn, roses! Let this party begin. I mean, we talk, but we don't really talk about anything important. So, like, what? Like nothing. Okay. Um, like Matt was having a bad day today, so we talked about that. You didn't tell me you're having a bad day. Ted, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. oh. I didn't mean a bad day, Twy. I just meant like he was questioning things. Thank you, Stevie. Uh, I ordered it online from Nevada. No sales tax. What were you questioning? It's nothing. So when the lasagna gets delivered. Does it come uh, frozen? Okay, or? I just... Uh... People before. I know them all. Wow. I've really been getting around town. No, I was with them in my other life. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm from a small town. Just like this. No. I'm not buying that. It's true. Really? Why would you leave? Oh God, I couldn't wait to get out. I was dying there. Have you never dreamed of a life beyond? You have, what if, like what if I hadn't listed in the military? What if rolling? Yeah, it was a, it was a fun, it was, it was a funny, it was, yes. I had a best friend that hook. She married one of her Johns on my birthday. Wow, what? so cool. <laughs> the time twilight. Um, Stevie, I don't think you're a big hooker. You don't talk all dinner and now you're telling me I can't talk about Trixie? I'm sorry, it's just, I think sometimes you have a tendency to say the wrong thing, that's all. Is there a right time to talk about being a hooker? I bet nobody thought sex with Trixie was funny. <laughs> I never said it was bad. Okay, you know what I think is happening is things are just getting blown out of proportion. And honestly, if Alexis, you just tell us what you and Mutt were talking about, it'd probably... Help. Oh my. He could be the next mayor of this town. He wanted it. My son is pansexual. Mm hmm. I've heard of that. I don't know what that is. That's uh, that cookware fetish. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. no. No, no. Oh, I no, about he that. loves everyone men, women, women who become men, men who become women. I'm his father. And I always wanted his life to be easy. But, you know, just pick one gender and maybe, maybe everything would have been less confusing. Emmy, for that performance. Thank you. I think so. Okay, so you're not like raging mad at me then? No. I think it's fair to say that neither of us have ever worked with a ceiling mirror before. True. It was funny. And a little humiliating. Yeah, I uh, saw a lot of my body. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. So. I'm actually that way. Okay. Yeah, I was um, wondering if we should um, try it again for the sake of practice. I'd be into that idea for the sake of proficiency. The fact that you're sleeping with a girl, which is great. But, you know, I'd be just as happy if, if you were to bring home one of your guy friends. What are you talking about? Um, excuse me while I just go draw a warm bath and plug in my hair dryer. Oh, Stevie, oh, Stevie. You're a lovely girl. <laughs> lovely girl. Bit of an edge, but, you know, it's growing on me. David, I just want you to know that I endorse all your sexual encounters. Uh, are you drunk? Grass. Too much grass. A little bit, but... Track that psycho, Missy. Okay. Good night. Hey, good night. Good night. They didn't have to do him like that, but like, come on. That dinner was awkward, though. Awkward as hell. But I love how he had like 
their names on the uh, on the paper and she where they were sitting their assigned seats and stuff like that. And when he said like he bought that shit from show or like from warehouse for uh, that used to be in the they used to be in those couches used to be in the showroom but now they're in the warehouse and he bought that. And then the food come from Las Vegas like frozen and shit. He just preheats it and shit. Too, that is too funny, bro. I love that. We, we get to know more about that. I'm glad he's found somebody, David, you know. You know, you could see that they were getting along from the first episode till now. So it's, I'm really happy for him and Stevie are getting along better now. But, yo, like, it's it's going this season right now. Like, his parents... <laughs> Dude did a little weed and he was already out. Like, like, <laughs> like trying to explain his son's sexuality to freaking roll it and stuff like that. Too much, man. Great episode. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.